Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince with our Total War Warhammer replay cast. This is ESL Community Cup number two match between myself and Schmuck of FG Clan. So we'll see how this one pans out. I'm playing as the Greenskins and he is playing as Empire. Let's look at the compositions soon enough. As soon as the game loads, once again the game is taking a while to load and I'm not quite sure why again it's rather strange guys rather strange oh and again people are working <laughs> so strange noises may appear may indeed appear throughout the video don't like recording like this but I have no choice because today the update is out so I have to record these games before before the update ruins uh, the replays so I have to record right now and sadly they decided to work at this hour <laughs> so yeah not at this hour but today so yeah I have literally no other choice anyway what is there for me to talk about the builds? Let's say, let's see. I have my Azak the Slaughter here. Wow, the game is so not fluid for whatever reason. Huh. That is odd. Anyway, Azak the Slaughter on Skullmuncha, as you would expect. I have an Orc Shaman. Again, pretty much expected. Three Orc Warboy Biggins. Uh, what else do I have? Looks like two Savage Orcs on each of the flanks. Then up front in the center four of these black orcs so that's basically the build you could say you can see and don't I have another cab unit yes I do right here I have two of these goblin wolf rider archers pretty good uh, archer units and now for the empire of FG schmuck we see two outriders here being quite annoying for the rest of his composition we see well we have two witch hunters very cool units could do a lot against uh, me, but the general is right here. Karl Franz on Deathclaw, I believe, or is it General of the Empire? I believe it's Karl Franz. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, it's Karl Franz. There we go. Karl Franz confirmed. Anyway, up front, two spearmen. Then in the back, we have one, two, three, four, five, six great swords. So a ton of great swords. Then we also have. A spearman with shield in the back and an empire knight so no demigriffs the fact that there are no demigriffs on the field is interesting in fact schmuck opted for six great swords which will brutally destroy any of the greenskins units but black orcs will defeat them so interesting choice but he still should have brought the demigriffs but i suppose he was afraid of the fate of yuna from azag Rightfully so, because as you can see, one Fate of Buna already popped, and this Outrider is already off the field right uh, now. So that's not too good for him at all. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do another Fate of Buna here on this Outrider. So it's gonna be two Outriders off the field for two Bunas. So that's a pretty good trade for me. I mean, using 28 Winds of Magic, yes. But I'd say it's still worth it to kill like two Outriders. That's a lot of wasted funds for uh, the Empire. So worth it in my opinion. Anyway, Orc Warboy Biggins is gonna charge straight into the Spearmen. Not the best choice, but I have to stop them to get my Black Orcs into them as well. Engagement's happening here. I got into the Great Swords with Orc Warboy Biggins. Not sure why the Savage Orcs are not following. This is a mistake by me here. I should have rushed in right immediately, but looks like I'm gonna go in now. This, these engagements here are going really well because I've got Black Orcs in this blob, so Black Orcs will do well. Got the Orc Shaman here for support in case it's needed. Running away with Azag from Karl Franz, that's kind of what you have to do. I've got these Savage Orcs flanking, but flanking too much in my opinion. Still, these Empire Knights gonna go down. Orc Boy Biggins and Savage Orcs only here though, but ooh, looks like Karl Franz came back, which means I can send back my General. With a Spirit Leech onto Kyle Franz. Orc Shaman here is still alive. Probably should have sent him in melee just to speed things up, you know. Because his weapon strength is kind of high. And now I'm running away with my general because I don't want Kyle Franz to catch him. But looks like he might get caught. 
Oh, just barely. Oh, I did get hit once. Oh, run away. Run away. He's not running away. He decided to fight. Which is perhaps not the best idea. Because Carl Franz is going to completely crush him. And now this is really bad for me. Because not only I'm engaged here. But Carl Franz is also alive. But I am going to Spirit Leech Carl Franz. So despite me losing my general, which is really bad. Carl Franz is also going to possibly end up dying to Spirit Leech. We'll see though. It's going to be close. Oh, he does not die to Spirit Leech. So it was quite close. But still, not close enough. Uh, Spearman with Shields here dying to more Savage Orcs or Shaman. I have finally engaged the Orc Shaman and the Great Swords. Okay, chasing uh, the routing units with the Goblin Wolf Rider Archers. Witch Hunter still alive. The Witch Hunter killed my journal with the Qs. That was a really good move. Uh, still some Empire Knights here that are routing off the field. And Kyle Franz is actually... Huh, that's funny. He's not Spirit Leeched, so I don't know what's happening here. This is weird. This must be a graphic uh, glitch. Hmm. Empire Knights chasing off the Orc War Boy Biggins. But really, they should be supporting this fight here. Not chasing off those units. Uh, Goblin Wolf Rider Archers targeting down these Witch Hunters here. This Witch Hunter as much as they can. And they can do a lot of damage. Because of the low armor on the Witch Hunter. Still though, the Savage Orcs here are going to kill the Spearmen. The Savage Orcs here also killing those Spearmen. These Great Swords here are not going to do too well against all these Black Orcs surrounding them. Still got these Black Orcs here. Munching on other greatsword units. The Witch Hunter, though, is a problem. And here I'm gonna get these Savage Orcs charged by the Empire Knights before I get them into the forest. So that's not good for my Savage Orcs. Here comes the charge. And I suppose I don't turn them around, which is a mistake by me. No, I did turn them around, but a little bit too late, I suppose. And here I'm still trying to keep the Witch Hunter engaged with Orc War Boy Biggins, and he's actually gonna go down right now. These great swords here also not looking too good. Still, it looks like uh, <laughs> Karl Franz is pretty leech, but it's not really the case. Still, though, he's down to 401 HP, but he's just doing so much damage and knocking away all these savage works. Really good for him. But leadership wise, he's very low on leadership, so he has to go in for just quick attacks like that, otherwise, he's a goner. Hmm. Still got these Goblin Wolf Rider archers. If they just touch the general he might actually route off the field because he's got 12 leadership and barely any HP left. Uh, these great swords coming back but I still have more black orcs on the field. A witch hunter getting chased off by my black orcs. What an engagement's gonna happen. Looks like Karl Franz is gonna get shot at and he actually routed off the field. Minus 122 leadership and finally the game is over. Well not finally. <laughs> didn't take that long let's look at stats so again the black orcs really doing work as you would expect out of black orcs because they're just insane units or poor boy begins doing all right azag i did not use him properly because he got caught by Karl franz and killed the witch hunters did a ton of damage to him as well great swords didn't really pay for themselves here as you can see they got neutralized quite well with surround tactics and the like but anyway that's game one see you in game two this is the second game against Schmuck. I'm playing as the Vampire Counts, and he is now the Greenskins. Uh, we'll see how this one plays out. Should once again be interesting. Yes, go Vampire Counts. Go Vampire Counts. Uh, but the thing is, the build that Schmuck has chosen here... Could be brutal against me and here's why oh i'm not gonna talk about it during the loading i'll go over the builds first and then i'll explain my thought process so slow motion my build we see vampire lord on zombie dragon or is it manfred i'm not sure it's vampire lord i picked i think i don't remember Oh no, I picked the Necromancer, so I probably picked Manfred. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I have the Lore of Death, so yeah. Anyway, for the rest, I have up front 
Looks like a total of five zombies. Then right behind those four crypt horrors, four cane wraiths, three black knights, and looks like that's basically it. Now for the green skins of Schmuck. Azag the Slaughter on Skullmancha. Looks like a black orc on each flank, four savage orcs supporting the giant. Or actually the three giants, not the single giant. And then three forest goblin spider rider archers. Those units are actually not too bad at all. And let's fast forward, or actually let's hit play. So the thought process for this uh, Greenskins build is quite good. I, I thought I was like probably going to lose this battle once I saw the build of the Greenskins here, honestly. Because what am I really going to do against all these units? All these giants, I thought. Because vampire counts against giants. They don't really have much to do other than Spirit Leech, which... As you can see, I'm doing right now. And I am chasing with Black Knights and a bit too far, honestly. But yeah, I'm, I did try to catch the Forest Goblin Spider Riders, but a bit too much, I guess. I'm gonna get a charge off into the rear and into the Savage Orcs as well, but is it worth it? Also, kind of a rear charge into Black Orcs, but... As you can see, still not that much damage done. In fact, I lost more than I did. So here, I'm gonna run away with Cane Raids from the Giant. And here I'm surrounding the giant as much as I can and sending the Crypt Horrors around to try and get into the enemy melee. As you can see, Crypt Horrors are up in melee against the Black Orcs here. This is precisely what I want to happen. Uh, they're going down really fast though. Hmm, interesting. Did not expect that. They should, however, be healing. Again, I flanked those Savage Orcs from the side. I am getting Spirit Leech though, which is not great. But I did, however, Spirit Leech. I believe it was the Acid? No, it did not. But here, my Crypt Horrors, Zombies fighting. I'm gonna pull out my General. So that's not ideal. And I'm gonna. Oh, there's gonna be an engagement here. It's Mux General. And my General is not looking too good here. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. So here, as you can see, I'm gonna get a nice rear charge into these Black Orcs. Should be a lot of damage. But on this flank. I've also won because Savage Orcs got destroyed by Crypt Horrors. Crypt Horrors did a very nice job here. And these Crypt Horrors, they're gonna beat these Black Orcs, but just slightly. Though they're in critical binding. If they start crumbling, it could be really bad. So now my General got Spirit Leech, and he's ba barely alive. I did, however, Spirit Leech Mux General. He's gonna be quite crazy right now. And I am gonna go down on him with 69 HP. This is a very risky move by me, but looks like I'm going to take him down. Just barely, and there we go! I took down the enemy Azag, and my general is still alive. Just barely, and I am gonna get away with my general. That was a crazy move, but it did actually pay off for me. It was very risky, and I got a bit lucky with it, so to speak. So the giant here, surrounded by Crypt Horrors, by Crane Wraiths, Zombies. This is the kind of engagement I want against Giants. Same here, and same here. Actually, no, I'm not surrounding this giant that well, so that's a problem for me. I needed to be surrounding it, but now the zombies are starting to surround it, but they don't really have that much damage. So this isn't good for me, but the fact that I've surrounded the other giants with properly is good for me. So yeah, these giants taking so much damage here. Not quite sure what, that, what they're taking damage from. Probably the cane rates. And there they go, the giant does go down. This giant's still alive and well, though. But I have to find the proper angle to attack it from. This giant going down as well. And I believe I'm sending away Azag because I don't want Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers to hit him. But for some reason, Azag, not Azag, but uh, Manfred is not actually healing himself. So I don't know why he doesn't heal himself. Like, what's the deal with uh, the HP regen? That's a bit weird. Is it a bug or something? I don't know. The giant here is still under attacking and doing a lot of damage because I can surround him with proper units and he's demolishing these crypt horrors here. And other units as well. Still more black orcs and savage orcs on the field that I have to deal with. And I'm running away with Manfred as long as I can. Chasing these giants off the field with the wraiths. 
I need to get a couple more hits off and I need like one or two more hits off onto this giant Okay, one more hit and he's dead basically Crypt Horror got the hit off and the giant just went down here Goodbye giant Still this giant here is really hard to beat because he's got two savage orbs supporting so I can't surround him properly but I still have the gen, so as long as I have gen... Ooh, this was a risky move by me. Once more. And look, he actually regen, but so slow, which is really crazy. But anyway, got a nice charge here with the Crypt Horrors and Cane Race into the Savage Orcs. Uh, looks like my zombies are being kited by Horus Goblin Spider Rider Archers, which is honestly just fine. Uh, more Black Knights coming around. This giant isn't gonna... Keep doing that well. Savage Orcs routed off the field. Zombies going to fight these Black Orcs. Hold them in place. While the Crypt Horrors go in from the side. Goodbye Black Orcs. They're not gonna like this engagement. Cane Raids still following off Black Orcs. And Force Common Spider Rider Archers. Sending my general back to deal the finishing blow. And here the zombies are chasing off the Force Common Spider Rider Archers. But still... At this point, it's basically over. These black orcs are done, but I'm just gonna zoom in on this giant. First, take a look at its skills. 140 kills and still in decent shape, and he's got 63 leadership. But now he's surrounded, right? So, wait, wait, how? What's his HP like? 4,000. But against the surround of all these cane rates and such, he's gonna be fine. Are these units routed? Yeah, all these units are actually routed off the field. It's just the giant left who is actually going to route anytime soon. And there we go, the route happens. And we have a victory for the vampire counts. About half my army left against an army that consists of three giants as well, which was still quite close because I didn't lose my gen. Had I lost my gen, this game could have been completely different. But yeah, again. Crypt Horrors did a lot of work against the Black Orcs. Only two Black Orcs, so that made me happy. But anyway, that's the game. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.